A man is fighting for his life tonight after a motorcycle test drive went horribly wrong in Allendale Township. The rider lost control and crashed not far from GVSU. He was wearing a helmet. Medics took him to Spectrum Butterworth with potentially life-threatening injuries. Ironically, tonight's crash comes on the very same day state lawmakers are making another attempt at repealing the law that requires motorcyclists to wear helmets. The question tonight, at what cost, both to riders and to your insurance rates? I always felt that I could, by being attentive and careful and, uh, and uh, not aggressive, I felt I could mitigate the risks of riding a motorcycle. For Douglas Furton, that philosophy lost favor two weeks ago when he was hit while riding his motorcycle on a warm weather West Michigan morning. For me, it was just for getting out and kicking around and letting the wind go by you. The only riding Douglas is doing these days is in the seat of a wheelchair as he recovers from multiple injuries, including a broken pelvis, smashed vertebra, internal bleeding, a banged up body, except for his head. I have no injuries to my head or to my brain. Um, the helmet clearly did its job. Bleeding on the brain, they can have skull fractures, they can have bruising or contusion in the brain. Uh, it can lead to even uh, brain death. Dr. Stephen Bloom is a rehab specialist at Mary Freebed. He says he has seen dozens of motorcycle patients within the last month. He says head injuries are catastrophic for those who are injured and expensive to treat. Dr. Bloom says a helmet is a simple thing that decreases injury and cost. This all comes as the state Senate gave final legislative approval to repeal Michigan's helmet law. Supporters have tried for decades to repeal the law. The measure next goes to Republican Governor Rick Snyder, and it's not clear whether he will sign it. Also unclear, if the law passes, will it increase insurance costs? The sponsor of the bill says no. You look at the states that have the optional helmet and you don't see a massive spike in insurance rates. But doctors who treat the injuries say it's simple. The use of the helmet um, will decrease their risk of death and if they do get in an accident it will decrease their risk of even a mild brain injury. Under the legislation, riders 21 and older would be permitted to lose their helmets after purchasing an additional $20,000 insurance rider.